What's up guys? I gotta ask you a good question about film study and how important film study is. And I would say that it's very important. Especially, it, it also depends on how long you've been training. Now I will say if someone's been training since they were five or 10 years old, it's not as important. If they had good coaching in that time period, like if they're if they're a 20, 25 year old fighter that's been training since he was 10 and he's got 15 years in the game, it's not as important as a newer person. And the reason why I say that is because these people already know a lot of technique. They already know a lot of what does work and what doesn't work. But film study is very important. You want to you want to um, study fights because the main thing is you need to ask questions. You need to go ask questions to your coaches. You need to say, hey, I saw so-and-so do this Saturday night in the UFC, and what, 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 what is he doing here? Or maybe maybe video, maybe screen record the, uh, the fight and, and show them the questions you have. That's one good thing about film study. But as you get older in, you, in, your, in, your, in your fighting career and you um, have film uh, up on your opponent, you definitely need to study them. Like you should study them. Like I, my mindset, I think that you should be for people is that for the fighter should be, you know, I'm not worried about what he's going to do. He's going to be worried about what I'm going to do. But at the same time, you need to be aware of what he's going to do. So you need what you need to study the film. You shouldn't devise your game plan from watching his film that, that, that oh, he does this. So I got to watch out for this. I got to watch out for that. You need to be aware of these things, but you need to say that he's fighting me. I'm not fighting him. So I'm going to be aware of it. But so that's why you watch the film, but he, but, but he's going to worry about what I'm doing. So you can, there's a lot of holes you can see in people's game when you, when you study, you study film, you can see if people are open to leg kick is if they're open to body shots, if they're easy to take down. So from a opponent standpoint, you hundred percent should watch your opponent's film multiple times before you fight them. That, if you, if you have a two month training camp, I say minimum, you should watch the fight, maybe even watch it with your coach. You should watch it like 10 times. If you if you have a full two month training camp, um, you should so you should definitely study your opponent, see what they do, see what they what they're not good at, and, and, and devise a game plan for you. Hey, I'm going to attack this area. I'm going to take them down. I'm going to stand up with them. I'm going to leg kick. I'm going to whatever the the holes they have in their game adjust and work around that for sure. But um, in general, I think film study is good to watch some of these fighters and see some of the stuff they do. I think you do have to be careful watching some of the great fighters, like the, the super athletic, because you have to be realistic. If you're not super athletic, a lot of this stuff isn't going to work for you. Like if you, or if you don't have the pedigree, if you watch Wonder Boy or um, uh, what's the Taekwondo kid's name, uh, Yair. If you watch Wonder Boy or Yair, you can watch them all you want, but the chances of you being able to do these kicks without a traditional martial arts background is very unlikely, unless you're super athletic and just learn super fast. Um, you can watch Alex Pereira, but if you don't hit as hard as he hits, obviously he's perfect. his technique is phenomenal, but if you don't hit as hard as he does, some of the stuff he does isn't going to be as effective for you as it is him, if that makes any sense. So it's definitely important, but it's important to watch people that that are that are skilled at high level and what's more the skills than the athleticism because some people are just so much like most people ain't going to watch Yoel Romero and be able to do what he does not in his prime when he was, was so athletic and the pedigree he had so something to think about film study is very important watch watch people that you have a possibility of being able to emulate not some freak athlete that most people in the MMA or or UFC in general can't can't do so that's something to think about. And then with, with the opponent, when you're studying your opponent, you need to study. You need to watch what their do's and don'ts. And, and it's a good idea to invite your coach to ask them if they'll watch it with you. And most coaches will watch it for at least, you know, at least one fight. Um, I know people are busy, but it's important. And then even you, your more experienced teammates, if you have a teammate, that, if you, if you, let's say this is your third fight and you, ha you, and you know who the opponent is, you have their name and, and you, there's a couple fights on them. Watch, maybe your maybe your teammate has ten fights and he's more experienced. Ask him, hey, hey, can you watch this fight? What do you see? What is he good at? And what what, what should I attack? And what is he bad at? Just something to think about, guys. Um, any other uh, questions y'all have? Just leave a comment below, and I'll, I'll try to make a video about it. And then if you're new to martial arts and you're looking for a gym in your area, get my book, The Ultimate Guide to Choosing Your Martial Arts School and Instructor. Very affordable book, only $4.99 on Amazon. It's just a good guide to teach you how to find a gym in your area. Thank you, guys.